Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I am here with Memory Decks Monday. That was my chair. <laughs> um, and we are going to do Back to School. So I have chosen from this Shine On paper pad by Basic Gray. It's a 6x6 six six paper pad that I had in my stash. And I've gone ahead and I've cut out two base cards and then I am going to make my other base card out of this here and then if we have time I also have some Project Life cards so I've gathered some random items here to use and um, I have a couple of my sticker sheets that I have so many of and that reminds me we just hit 800 subscribers we are well on our way to 900 <laughs> I am so excited so I decided it was time for a giveaway and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away some of the items that I'll be using in today's um, Memory Decks Monday, since it is one of the most popular uh, videos that I do every week is Memory Decks Monday. And I was just invited to join a new group, um, Rolodex Addiction, I believe it is called. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Um, that was exciting. And um, so what I have is I have some of the stickers like I always like to use. There's a little bit of washi tape, a musical playing card. These are part of these stickers. And these came with a teacher chart to keep track of things. And I used it, um, I used it in my Mary Kay business uh, a while back. Um, I also have some washi tape samples and then these are washi or sticker tape that I'm going to be using on one of the cards today and some alphabet letter, alpha letters and I may add some more items um, after we're done. So here we go. Let's get started. Oh, I want to put these over here because I really don't want to lose Okay, so um, we'll start with the easy. We have these two that have already been cut using my Memory Dex dies by um, Heidi Swap. And if you don't have the die, there is also a punch that you can get, which makes it so that you can turn anything into a Memory Dex. Or Rolodex. So this one here um, is a Project Life card. I believe it's, oh, it's, uh, I don't remember which collection it's from. I'm sorry. Um, but it has the alphabet there, so I thought of that. First, back to school. Um, you can also use it and pretty much turn anything into and have it be ready for memory decks. Now, if you don't have the punch and you don't have the dies, I've also done a video showing you how to measure and how you can put those, those in. And I will link that below. It'll be later in the day before I get to link that below, but I'll get it linked below. So today is Monday, and if you're watching this around 9 o'clock in the morning Pacific time, I am so excited because... I will be at Hobby Lobby at the grand opening. We are finally getting a Hobby Lobby here in the Antelope Valley. So I will be there. I'm actually meeting some, um, some crafters afterwards for lunch. I am so excited about that to meet some local crafters. We are so excited. So let's get started. Okay. Um, I picked this one because I, I thought, you know, I, I know two moms on my Facebook page that celebrated the day, I mean, really celebrated the day their kids went back to school this year because 
they were just not getting along and having to spend so much time with their siblings. Um, so that, that reminded me of that. Um, so, okay, so I have those stickers and I put them here. And we have the cute little girl at the desk. I have not planned these out. Sometimes I get a chance to plan. Today I did not get a chance to plan at all. Um, I have been so busy working on getting that Peacock Junk Journal done and getting my Etsy reset up. Um, that I had to actually like clean house and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to set her on here. Now, as you m might know if you watch my channel, um, my memory decks box is an inch and a half high. So at an inch and a half, I can start building out. So this one is going to be too low. So I'm going to have to cut that one off. And these are not my good scissors. Oh good, they cut. <laughs> like, I don't see any of my good scissors. It's like reading glasses. You have 10 pair and you can't find a single pair. So, oh, I like her. Isn't she so cute? She looks ready for school. So, maybe let's give her well one of the things i thought you could do is you know those little calendars um that you get well you can get them all year long pretty much they'll come with a notepad um i buy them and i use them on my projects and so i could put it here and have you know circle the date that they started school um, you probably, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I really personally like to actually put pictures on my memory decks. But this one, um, today I'm not going to. Um, so I have this, and I got it for 49 cents. Yes, I am a bargain shopper. But I also, um, I don't want to discourage people that are new to crafting because when you look at the things that I use I have been collecting for over 30 years okay literally when I moved to Iowa I had <laughs> in 1989 I had a U-Haul little U-Haul trailer full of just my crafting stuff and when we moved back to California, again, a whole, um, a whole thing just of uh, scrapbooking, not scrapbooking, but crafting supplies. So when you see me working and I, I pull stuff out and you're like, wow, she's got so much stuff. I have been collecting for, for that long. Okay, so this was a little thing that I got at Walmart, and I got, I love this little pad here and the unicorn. The magic unicorn says. <laughs> so, and I got this, I don't remember where I got this, but it's just a little, it's got crayons, it's kind of cool. Okay, what is she going to... She needs to say something or something. This was um, given to me in a rack, a random act of kindness. Oh, I know. These also, these were around the outside of that teacher, that teacher. Um, thing. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll use Okay, so I'm going to just, that's another thing, I use all kinds of items, especially on my memory dexes. Um, 
the ones that don't have pictures on them. It doesn't matter if the paper that I'm using is archival safe. So um, I will use pretty much anything. Okay, I, I want, okay, I have these hearts. Again, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that one day I decided that my um, <laughs> my printer, or not my printer, my uh, Cricut, the blade was dying. So I decided that I would just start cutting um, these hearts. Well, 450 plus hearts later, my Cricut <laughs> is still cutting. And today it actually still has the same blade. So um, I was, I was wrong. <laughs> it wasn't dying, but I have 450 hearts and all different kinds of um, different kinds of patterns. So I'm just using my ATG gun again because it is from Memory Dex. Um, and I could, I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this glue. <laughs> Book binding needle. Okay. Hey. We'll just add just in case. Maybe. This is, I haven't used it this weekend. Uh, been, been doing other things. I, um, I put together my packaging for my items on Etsy. And just been doing, doing other stuff. Okay. There we go. Put that on there. Um, now another thing that I think that if I was actually making this um, for myself I would probably go ahead and I've, I've rearranged and I'm still finding where I put things that I use all the time right now I'm looking for <laughs> okay um, and I'm not finding it but my, oh, I know. sorry about that, date stamp. So this would be a good place for a date. You could put a date right there. And then you could actually write about the, um, the memory on the back. Because I'm, for me, I'm very much about memory keeping. That's, that's why I do what I do. All about the party and all about the memory. Okay, she needs to have pencil and maybe some paper there on her desk. So I'm going to take this puffy sticker. And um, I thought I had one of the pencils that I make out of, um, out of toothpicks. But I don't have one. I, I thought that there was one along with a chalkboard in the shoe up on the shelf there. And they're not there. So... Um, so I'll put that video down below, but I actually make a pencil out of a toothpick that is really, really cool. And um, I like it because, you know, it saves money, it's fun, it turns out cute, it's um, puffy. I like it. So now I'm going to go to the one of these that has already been, been used a little bit. And I'm going to just take off back to school. So we're going to cut here and here and back to school. Whoop. Uh-oh. Haven't had that happen before. Hmm. Very interesting. 
So I have these stickers. I have them for all the holiday or a lot of the holidays. I have back to school and um, baby. You'll see. You'll see them. I use them all the time. Zoo, farm. They're so cool. Okay, so let's cut this apple off because it's we already have an apple. Put it back to school here. Could have um, also put that on some white paper and raised it up. Okay. And I I have um, tweaked my back a little bit last night just walking just just walking and um so <laughs> uh i don't want to i i hope i got everything because i really don't want to have to get up and go looking for anything at this point i yeah okay Nope, don't like it. Let's see. But I do want something. Well, I think she's quite cute. Could do that. Um, the right. And you could write a little bit of information right on there. Okay. There's that. Well, you know what? You can always add a fluffy flower. It just seems to need something. And book paper and back to school works out really well. Go ahead and get my Aileen's. Don't need the peacock feather. My Aileen's over here. And I just put a little glob. And I'll need my skewer that ended up with glue gun. <laughs> you just never know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of glue on the back for the first one and put it right here. And then we will go ahead and I just take it and Put it around. There is a tutorial on this, um, on the fluffy flowers embellishments. But I'll sit and cut a book paper and fill this whole thing with book paper. And then, and that way I have it. I have made a bunch of the flowers ahead of time, but it really, it doesn't take that long to just go ahead and um and make them so i pretty much go ahead and make them now there we go yeah i like this okay and your base flower even on the ones where you're going to use book cape paper can be plain and then you're build up with a little bit of book paper Let's put it down come over grab there we go and down and sometimes it doesn't grab but usually 
it does. Okay, there we go. And then I have my bling down here in a in a drawer. Looking for some red. There, we have some red bling. Which way is it going? It's going that way. Bigger than what I would normally like to use on a... I always think of red and yellow and black when I think of back to school. How about you? What, what, do you, what colors do you think of? With, and primary colors I think of with back to school. So, you know what we'll do? We'll go ahead and we'll add a little strip of this to the 800 subscriber giveaway. And we'll go ahead and add some fluffy flowers in there. Okay, so there we have our first little Dex card, Rolodex, Memory Dex, and... What should we name her? Apple Annie. Annie is going back to school. Annie is going back to school. So that is our first memory dex card. And then we have somewhere I have the other one. Or maybe I lost it. That does happen. Okay. Well, um, we can go ahead and let's decorate this one. So we have these colors in the back. I really like these hearts with the numbers on them. So go ahead and since it's out. Go ahead and just attach that there. Too big. Okay, I will cut a banner, do a banner cut here. So I just folded it in half. Now hopefully we can undo this because you know how that, that is. You get on camera and can't can't undo things. But we're still we're still going. Uh, oh, you know what? Well one thing I have here, and you might recognize this. Recognize this? Now this reminds me of back to school, okay? My favorite lunchbox I ever had, aside from the Brady Bunch one, was a pattern like this. Loved it. I had a pair of plaid pants that were my favorite in sixth grade. This is the tape that comes at the beginning of the regular ATG, not the acid-free, but the regular, the one that's like $5.99 for two. And... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put, yes, I, I save almost everything. This, yeah, this is, this is the beginning part of the Scotch brand <laughs> tape. You know, and, and, and in case I want some denim, this is duct tape. This is packing tape that, um, that was on a package that was sent to me. I think we'll do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and, and cut a banner out of this. It's a new pair of jeans for back to school to go with the plaid, sort of. Oops, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't connect it together. Oops. What do we got going on here? A little piece of something or other. 
Okay, we got that. Then we have this, and this, I don't remember where I got it. But a lot of times I will, if I'm doing something really small, I'll just cut the, the ruler part of this off. So like, like this. You don't have to use it as it is like that. You can cut the little piece off like I just did. There's an apple stuck to my finger. So you can cut just this little piece off and you have a little ruler. Okay, so I'm gonna want, I was looking to see how much I'm gonna want and I'm gonna want a little piece. So we are gonna go ahead and we'll start from this side here. Okay, so I've just cut a little piece. Oh my gosh, I just got an idea. I know what I'm gonna do on that Rolodex card over there. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I know that um, I want the I want the black down here because I want it to, to. It doesn't need to be up by the blue so much, but as a separation from this colored tape that I'm going to use, I think that that's a more important place for it. So, all of those things remind me of school. There we go. We'll save this. I don't always, I, I always save these things, these little things, while I'm working. And a lot of times when I'm done with the project, they will go away. Okay, um, so um, okay, one of these. Um, let's see. Wow, keep going. Go, you did it. Number one, way to go. Oh, here. Good job. Nope, that's not what I want. I want something that says, like, um, you're going to do it kind of idea. Bright Future is kind of cool, but, yeah. School rocks. Well, we can go back to the stickers. Back to school. Well, down here, I think we need Okay, so on the top and the bottom, there is a, a row of stuff. I'm just going to try and put it on here. cutting these off the edges. Okay. I'm looking around the desk to see what we've got that we could use. Okay, where's the I got school days. We have this cool book. The books with the apple on it. There's some crayons, pencils, scissors. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe maybe some white paper. I could be so lucky. I have a lot of these. I'll go ahead and use one of these. Could just do that and you'd have today you'd have a you have a, a Rolodex. Could be a pocket. Could put it on something like that and you'd and here adhere it you'd have a pocket. But what I'm gonna do is fussy cut it out. Um so that I can raise it up. Because the one thing that about the the memory decks is that I really notice I like them much better when they have uh, depth and texture. So instead of them being, you know, one dimensional, I like them to be three dimensional. So there's days. And I should be using my little Cricut scissors. I, again, things are, I had stuff everywhere when I was making that peacock journal, everywhere. Because I had just started rearranging my craft room office space here. And um, then it was like, okay, I just need to get this done. And... Um, <laughs> and stuff is everywhere. So the craft room tour is um, postponed a little bit, <laughs> but I, it is still going to happen. Uh, in the meantime, my husband put the window on my she shed, so I, I need to um, reorganize it. I, uh, it's been so hot. A lot of things just got put in there and they just need to get put away. I have a couple of boxes where as I'm collecting things I put them in the boxes and then they they need to go into the she shed and be. My she shed is actually a place where I'm able to store things but it's cute. <laughs> it's really cute and um, I can also do bigger projects out there painting and things like that and leave them. Um, I couldn't be before because it was not finished yet. We were just waiting to have one window put in. So the, right now there's like dust, lots of dust. So it's not just a matter of going and putting things away. I do have to go out and get rid of the dust. You're still there. That's good. I was just, just checking to make sure you're still there. Kind of like being on the phone and, <laughs> and uh, you've been disconnected and you don't know. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm gonna, just going to pop these up. Pop them up. So this is a Project Life card that I'm using here. Giving new life to way too many Project Life cards that I have. Um, What did I do? Oh, there it is. It is so warm here. Right now. And I guess it's going to be outrageous. I live in the desert. In the high desert. So it, you know, it's supposed to be warm. We had some crazy wind yesterday. My husband said on his way home, he was, um, helping out a friend and on his way home he saw a dust devil that picked up 20 full size tumbleweeds and had them f flying around in the air so if you can imagine kind of it'd be like a tornado of dust
Well, that's really cool that I kind of lose the banner, but that's okay. Sometimes that happens. It just happens. Okay, so... Popping up. There we go. Got quiet. <laughs> I must be concentrating. So, using a variety of items to make a little banner or to make a background here. Um, that is what I wanted to show you today. And using items that you wouldn't normally maybe have. I mean, you wouldn't by using the you know, things that come in the mail or I'm just I'm just cutting around the the hole here so that this will be able to go in my box. Okay, so I need something right here, and I think, well, we could do that right thing again. Do the phone. Nah. How about... Huh, I have never had any trouble with these until today. Okay, so we'll go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Okay. It's a little chalkboard that just kind of says. Oh, I see. It's a piece. It's a piece that's going across it. So that's that's a problem. <laughs> The little chalkboard there. And then I like, I know there's some red ribbon around here somewhere. Even though it's already something, I will just undo it. tie it at an angle so it goes underneath the school days and get down the magic shoe magic shoe <laughs> my dad got me that he got one for me and one for my mom if you've been on here you've heard that before okay so I just taped it so that um, it'll stay at this angle because otherwise it will, it's, this is not where it's going to want to be. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie a bow. And I might not have left myself enough. I want a little bow. You could also use like your bow punch and put a bow using your bow punch. Or just just tie a bow itself. I have a lot of red ribbon because I um, I purchased just a lot of it for when I had my red ruby ribbon business. I used this a lot to tie my cards. So there, we're just going to put a little bow and 
and we'll come in and cut the, the edges. And I am going to cut this one because I don't like the way it looks going in front of the days. And I think we'll go ahead and bring out the magic tape again. There's nothing magic about this tape except that it's on this really cool shoe. <laughs> Okay, so there we have number two. <laughs> so we have one, two. And next we're going to take this and we're going to decorate this card. And what I'm going to do is I am going to decorate it with washi tape. And if you saw my Washi Wednesday video, then you've already seen this technique. But since I know I have people that only watch my memory decks Monday. Um, this was a technique that I um, did because of the eclipse is what it it reminded me <laughs> of. And so I'm just going to take um, some pieces of washi tape, things that rem that are kind of school like. So I have some washi tape that looks like lined paper. And we're just going around and randomly putting them on this paper. We have this red, and this came from my Disney Mickey Mouse set. So it randomly says Disney about every foot on it, which is kind of fun. So this is a great way to use up some washi. We lost you for a little bit. What I did was I took the different um, washi tapes, similar to the ones that I used on that other card, and I just had them start in the center of the Rolodex card and they've come out to the outside. I have one more piece that I wanted to put on and that is a little piece of yellow. So we'll just cut it from here. But you can see I've used um, a bunch of different school type washi tape. I've used that scotch, um, the piece that from the ATG gun, I've used that on here. And so we're just going to go ahead and put that there. And we don't need any there, don't need any there. Maybe there. Okay, so now we're going to lift this up. Off the table here. And what I did on the card that I made for the Peacock Journal is I just went and I went around and just put these down. Okay, so it gave us a, a backing, it's kind of cool, for the card. Okay, again, um, the other thing you could do, um, like the card that I made with the banner in the card, you could go ahead and... Cut this off and you could have little banners and put that on the other side. Okay. Now you can see I also I added some numbers in here as well as this washi tape that looks like lined paper. Um, now I have these yellow ones do not want to stick when I put them over to the other side. The number doesn't want to stick on the other side. So I'm just going to go and trim, trim all those. OK. 
Okay. Another yellow. Okay. So we have made a base for our memory decks out of washi tape. And of course you could do this on a larger one as well. And then you could just put a, a picture of uh, Chili Rihanna. How funny. It's like there's got to be something in here that we can use. These are just some pictures that I found the other day. I put them in here. Nothing to do with anything like school. Um, well, I've got this one that says spring in my step. So imagine that's a person. We could put that on there. Um, or if you have like the little strip little picture or since it's back to school you could put school rocks that's kind of cool that's like kind of really cool like a lot of cool I like that I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to put this and I'm going to have the pencil too. Of course, if I had some music, that would be. <laughs> you know what was over here that wasn't supposed to be? <laughs> was banned. <laughs> kind of would be fun so anyway well I mainly wanted to show you that um, another way to be able to make a backing I really like that uh, that is really very wild um, go ahead and put some ATG and I, I like to use ATG on my ribbon um, I can hold it down Okay, so what do you like to do with your washi? I think this is awesome. And school rocks. And there we go. Well, this would make a really cool little pocket. So this little pocket could just go right on here and then you could write on a little one of those yellow notes Put the journal on your little yellow note about the first day of school or have your kids each do it and then just put them in there and you'd have a little pocket to hold it and it would be two-sided. It would even look cool on this one. So there you go. So we have made three back-to-school memory decks cards today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Here we go. So we have Annie and her apple on her first day of school. We have school days using a variety of different types of items to get a background and we have made a spectacular sunshine eclipse background with washi tape school rocks if you have any comments questions suggestions something you'd like to see put it down below find something to celebrate every day and don't forget to subscribe bye bye